Hi, I'm Dave Epstein, this is Growing Wisdom, and I'm headed towards the allium. It almost looks like a field of allium, doesn't it? A huge genus, things like shallots, onions, garlic, chives, they're all in the same genus, so it's huge. These guys just happen to be ornamental. You could eat them, they are edible, the leaves as well as the bulb, but you really don't want to because they're not gonna taste that good. And they are really beautiful. Look how tall this is. This is, now, I'm not a very tall person, but these are still pretty tall, right? This is over four feet high. They have almost a powdery scent to them, and there's all sorts of different varieties. There's some that are this tall, some that are a little bit shorter, and some that even are so short and just sort of poofy, but don't really have the color. And those I find kind of neat, because look at the leaves. The leaves are really different on those. When these are done flowering, they're going to turn brown. I actually leave them in the garden. I think it looks very nice. No, it's not purple anymore, but the texture's so wonderful that you can leave them in the garden. Different varieties also bloom at different times. Some earlier and some will bloom late. So you could plant several different varieties and keep your bloom going a long time. So there's really two ways you can acquire these in your garden. I think the best way is that in the fall, you go through some of your favorite bulb catalogs or go to your local nursery, buy the bulbs, plant them, and this is what you get in the spring. I planted these last fall, here it is six months later, and they're up. You can also buy them in the spring in a container that are already blooming, then put those in the ground, and they'll also come back. These guys love sunshine. They also like very well-drained soil, so you don't want to put them in soggy, wet soil. They also don't do well in the woods because they need the sun. I've placed these here in particular at the back of the border because they give some height. It also sort of is a little bit playful with this standard I have. This is a willow. Notice it has the same shape to it. So see how the willow has the long stick and then it's got the foliage at the top and a little ball? The alliums do the same thing. So we've played off of it. And you can do that in your garden. Find something that looks a certain way, get something maybe a little smaller that has a similar shape, and have a little bit of whimsy in your garden this will play off of each other. Eventually they'll disappear and I still have that to look at all summer. Now because the allium disappears during the course of the summer, I've actually planted some of the geranium. We've put the purple geranium down at the base of these. So as the allium disappears later on in the summer, the geranium will take over and also give us some bloom. So that way we continue the bloom in this area for a much longer period of time and we also keep it nice and green for the entire season. Speaking of green, we hope you check out all of our videos here at Growing Wisdom.